I mean, I think there's a lot of us that have that need as young people, whether you like it or not. You know, I mean, I remember just complaining about, you know, parents saying this or, you know, saying that. And it just sounds like a lot of noise. But in the midst of all that noise, I think there's probably some, some direction that they will pick up on. You know, and so young people, uh, you know, they're impressionable. And I think we have to make sure that we take care of those um, thoughts and ideas that they have and, and mold them to get them on the right path. And I think providing great opportunities to all of our folks, all of our young people out there, um, and providing that mentorship, that guidance, whether they take it for what it's worth or not, just planting those seeds, I think ultimately it, it just does a lot of good for our, um, the leaders and for our country. Well, one of the things about the AIM High Flight Academy is we will not just be training these young men and women, giving them a taste of aviation, giving them a taste of what it means to be an airman, but we're going to be tracking them. And they'll be assigned with one of uh, what we call our AIM mentors. AIM stands for Aviation Inspiration Mentorship Program. This is usually a, a rated officer, somebody out there in the Air Force that's continued to help stay in touch and track these, these, these young men and women. Uh, to help inspire them, to help guide them, to help lead them towards it. That's what they choose, a path to the Air Force. So we'll know as we go through each year, we'll be able to measure and know how many come into the Air Force, how many end up in flying careers. But I will tell you, at the end of the day, we're still making better Americans here. We're giving them exposure to uh, leadership, airmanship, character development. These young men and women are going to be forever changed when they leave this, this, uh, this program. You know, we could give them money, right? I can give the students money, scholarship, and say, hey, here's $10,000. Go get some flight hours. But for us, we jam pack it into three weeks. I, I feel like this is what military does best, right? Like, I will get you in. I will get you trained up. And, you know, I quite often tell people, what I left with in terms of having that training, you know, they're screaming at you, they're yelling at you, they're telling you to get up at 4.30 in the morning and you're, everything's a fog. But what they're trying to teach you is that among the chaos, there's a voice that you can hear and you need to follow that voice and you need to get through it. And so we think that that's important because there's a lot of noise that happens, I think, in our young people's lives. And so we want to get them away from some of that, right? Give them these three weeks and um, put a little military spin on it too, you know, and, and get them focused and show them what it's like to have um, a regimented life. And whether they stay in the Air Force or, or join the Air Force or join some other military organization or not at all. I just think that, you know, getting them to solo in an aircraft, and that's huge. And from that experience, it doesn't matter what they do in life, they're gonna be able to look at that and go like, I sold an aircraft when I was 16, 17, 18. Like, like who's gonna stop me, right? I'm gonna be able to go do whatever it is I put my mind to.